You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. At dollarseed.com, all of our seeds are only a dollar a pack. And we have online resources that teach you all about the rewarding hobby of growing your own plants, flowers, herbs, and vegetables. Imagine the joy you'll feel when your children actually help you harvest your first garden crop. Or the pride of knowing you'll never need a florist again. Visit dollarseed.com and grow a little magic of your own for just a dollar. dollarseed.com. What could be healthier? What is up, guys? Welcome to the show. You're listening to Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio. And I am your host, Dini. Oh yeah, we have more guests on the way, so you know what time it is, and you know you should stick around for that. And as a matter of fact, go ahead and text your buddies or your family members right now and let them know that we're about to dive deep into another interview. It's time to go over to the phone lines, but before we bring our guests on, I do want to say that you are good at it, you know? Even if you've never done it before, you can do it. Because, you know, there was a time when you had never done even those things at which that uh, that you have the most. (laughs) Wow, that didn't make sense. At least, you know, now at a time where you have honed your skills, right? At some point in time, you didn't know how to do what you can do now. And you learned how. And you did them and you learned some more and improved. You did it before and you can do it again. Think of all the things that at one time were new to you. Everything you know right now was at one time something new. You've discovered, you've learned, you've improved. You're very experienced at going through that process. It has been happening from the moment you were born. What you need to learn, what you can learn, what you need to do, you can do. What you need to achieve, what you desire to achieve, you can indeed achieve. How intensely do you want it though? What are you willing to do? How, how clearly can you see the reward? Those things really matter, you know? You're good at achievement, so choose carefully what you decide to achieve because you'll get it. Take that from me, Coach Dini. That is my word, and word is fun. Have you struggled budgeting your finances? Don't worry, you're not alone. HumbledBudget.com, that's H-U-M-B-L-E-D-B-U-D-G-E-T.com is the help and resource you've been searching for. HumbledBudget.com is a personal finance and educational website with a great variety of topics when it comes to budgeting, taxes, investing, and the popular topic of FIRE, financial independence, retire early. HumbledBudget.com has a goal, and that's to help you reach your financial dreams no matter what your goals are when it comes to finances it doesn't matter where you start where you come from or where you are right now humbledbudget.com can help what are you waiting for take that first step to the financial life you've dreamed of and go to humbledbudget.com that's h-u-m-b-l-e-d-b-u-d-g-e-t humbledbudget.com Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome again. You are listening to VRL. That's Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart to Radio. And I am your host, Denny. Our interviews are designed to go beyond music, news, books, art, acting, films, technology, education, entrepreneurship, entertainment, and sometimes even that thing that we call the ego. Our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these incredible human beings, you know, the ones who are out there giving it their all for me, for you, and for the world. With that, let's welcome our guest, Micah McKee of Lonesome Wow to the show. 
Hello, hello, hello. What is going on? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Can you hear me good? I can hear you great. Yes. Great, man. Uh, I'm all the way down in New Orleans, man. We're we're way below sea level, so it's, you know, I mean, sometimes the reception can get a little faulty, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you are practically next door to me. I'm three hours away and over in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. No way, man. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. We have to have a private conversation about Jackson, Mississippi, because <laughs> we can't. Have... <laughs> there is definitely a relationship between Jackson and New Orleans. <laughs> oh man, I, I I got I got plenty. I got plenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, man. Yeah, man. How you doing? How you doing? I'm pretty good, man. Uh, really, really happy that it's fall now. You know, uh, we could get some type yeah. of weather because uh, you know this summer it was just extremely hot. <laughs> brutal, man. Brutal. Yeah, brutal. Brutal, dude. Down here, ridiculous, man. Yeah. <laughs> does that inspire music, Kenny? It, it kind of does. You know, um, you know, I used to love wintertime so much. But, like, during lockdown, I really gained an appreciation for summertime mm. uh, because, you know, I was locked in the house. And I was like, well, normally I would have to, like, go do the hustle and go back and forth from work and school and this and that and, you know, like, be in 97-degree weather, you know, for seven hours a day. But now I don't have to do that. I don't have to subject myself to that. So... Now I can actually kind of do what I want to do, and so yeah, it inspired my music, especially in the last couple of years for sure. Um, and you know, I mean, the weather always inspires my music. You know, I mean, if if it, if it's raining outside, you know, I, you know, I I gotta I gotta stay inside and do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So has New Orleans always been home? Yeah, New Orleans has always been home, man. Um, you know, from day one, and you know, I've toured. I've I've played around with a lot of a lot of folks and a lot of musicians. I've been very gracious and very thankful to been a part of a lot of different projects. But New Orleans has been always home for me. Yeah, and it was, it's kind of a crazy question to ask because New Orleans is just known to be a musical town, especially with jazz and and, and roots like that. Uh, we think of folklore, uh, especially fol- folklore of a town. Um, but what, what, what capture you to join this musical movement? Man, for me, it was just like what I was good at. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, like I'm kind of a hustler. You know, so I'm like, whatever I'm good at is what I'm going to be doing. You know, so I was, I was actually just captaining my pool team I play pool a lot and pool taught me patience billiards you know you know that game taught me patience and so things like that you know like cooking like playing billiards yoga whatever I can do that will expand my mind you know that's gonna that's gonna teach me and that's gonna guide me so you know like with New Orleans and music, it was like, it was a thing I just had to do because I was, I was good at it and I was inclined to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How were you in- introduced to it? Uh, I probably, probably my dad. My dad was a music nerd, just like me. You know, I find more, the older I get, the more I'm, I feel like I'm becoming my father, mm-hmm. you know? Um, you know, I mean, in the in the good ways and the bad ways, um, but you know, I, you know, he he was the first person that ever gave me like a guitar in my hand, you know, and he was an amateur musician, and you know, he didn't really teach me. He just gave me the guitar, he gave me the songbooks, and I was like, yo, okay, cool. You like this kind of music? Cool. I like this kind of music as well. You know, I mean, it took me a while, you know, to really come around. I didn't really start getting serious about playing music until I was maybe around 16, 17, 18 years old, you know. So I kind of missed out on a lot of stuff that a lot of my peers, you know, like, you know, their parents were, 
just different in a way you know what I mean like they were like oh yeah you're gonna play piano from the time you're five you know what I mean like mm -hmm. you know like you're gonna be a little Mozart you know for me it was just like well this could be a thing that you could do on the side if you, if you want to do it you know and um and it, it took me like growing into it myself to real to really realize like yo this is the thing I could do you know yeah so when did um songwriting come into play I mean I guess like you know I I started hosting these like um these songwriter nights mm -hmm. um at uh at this bar called the Circle Bar in New Orleans and it, it was at a bar that was formerly Lee Circle now it's uh now it's something different um but we started playing there, me and a bunch of friends of mine, and just started sharing songs after work. You know, we would like get off our like restaurant jobs, and we would just go get off get off of work, and we just go play there like like five six o'clock, and just start sharing songs with each other. And um, and that's kind of how like songwriting like came into my life. I mean, songwriting's always been a part of my life, man. I love. I love the Beatles. I love Marvin Gaye. I love Aretha Franklin. You know, and that's that's kind of like how songwriting came to my life. Stevie Wonder, man. Mm. Like when I was when I was growing up, my dad songs in the key of life, the original pressing with the Braille. Like that was that's that's what got me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. So yeah, songwriting has always been a part of my life, but hosting a songwriter night really helps, you know, bring bring people together that were like minded. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to play your uh, your single uh, "I'm Your Piano," and uh, I was just listening to you talk about you know Marvin Gaye and uh, Stevie Wonder. And anytime someone say the word piano, I think of Stevie Wonder. It's just automatic yeah, man. piano, Stevie Wonder. Or I think of some classical setting with the beautiful grand piano, just shiny and black and, and, and all of the splendor. Uh, but growing up, man, studying, I used to listen to like Mozart when I study or, you know, and this is as a kid, like 10, 11, 12, just listening to classical music. Uh, but still, if you say the word piano, I think uh, Stevie Wonder. Why do you yeah. think that is, man? The relatability or think, the talent? Well, I mean, for you, I can't, I can't define how that, what that means for you. You know, obviously, right. you know, like you have your own connection to it. But for me, I look at it and I think about it. I'm like, man, well, he redefined the piano. You know, mm -hmm. you know that guy, like he redefined what it, what it meant. And I think that's a, that's a special thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, as a creative, as a musician, is is that always or is that something that's in the forefront of like creative minds? Is is it in the forefront of your mind? When you're taking an instrument, you're taking uh, a sound from a genre and you make it yours, right? Um is that through intention or is that just magically happens along the way? Oh yeah, you know like the older I get, the less I like rely on magic, and the more I rely on intention. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's that goes for everybody. The older you get, they get right. You know, like you know, like the younger you are, the more. And this is generalization, but the, sometimes the younger you are, the more you like you know you rely on like happenstance to like direct your your steps, but. The older you get, you realize, man, you can't really, you can't really rely on that stuff. You know, like, I mean, it's, you have to really be intentional about your steps, you know, um, because if you, if you step the wrong way, you might break your hip, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and like, and I mean that musically and physically, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, yeah, I mean, for me, I, I, it's all intentional, you know, it's all intentional. Absolutely. All right, all right. Well, we have I'm Your Piano by Micah McKee. 
and then we'll be back to put him in our traditional hot seat that's where he gets to perform for us if he wants to he can sing rap poetry tell a story tell a joke uh play an instrument or just inspire the people with his words but for right now here it is i'm your piano stay tuned Your company or group has at least five or more W-2 employees, stayed open during the pandemic, and experienced some type of loss, then their business may qualify for up to $26,000 an employee through the Employee Retention Credit from the federal government. Since this is a tax credit, funds do not have to be paid back, and there are several ways that businesses can qualify for the tax credit other than a loss of revenue. There are still millions of businesses that haven't filed, and the deadline is slowly approaching, so the time is now to file before funding ends. To learn more about the ERC program, visit www taxfilecredit.com that's www.taxfilecredit.com all right all right guys welcome back again you're listening to vrl that's vigilantes radio live right here on iheart's radio and i am your host dini you just got finished listening to i'm your piano by michael mckee all right awesome awesome song let's go ahead and bring him back Hey, hey, you're back live with us and in our hot seat. What are you going to perform for us? You know, I thought for this, I would do uh, a poem. Um, if that was, if that's cool. Yes, sir. Because, um, yeah, well, you know, 
during lockdown is where I came up with the concept of Lonesome Wild. Um, and that's like the name under which um, your piano is going to be released or is released. And, um, and we're going to release more stuff under that name. And um, during, during lockdown, I, I recorded, I think maybe four albums worth of material, you know, um, and it was a, such a special time uh, for me. And, um, and so I want to do this poem called The Builder. All right. The Builder looked down upon her life's work, obscured by swirls of cotton, and sank into her broken wooden chair. She peeled back the flowers and the bees scattered. Plumes of diamond dust spilled out across the black and ancient air. Floods of nectar used to fill this valley, rushed across stones, semitones, and carved cracks into the crystal. The builder, she closed her eyes and she counted backwards. And when she opened them, it was morning. That's it. All right. Wow. So how long have you been writing uh, poems? I mean, since I was a kid, man. You know. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah, when you're a kid, you love writing poems, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, when you're a kid, I mean, it's like, I mean, you grew up in the South. You know you know how it is. Everything rhymes, you know? Mm-hmm. So you're like, you're like, oh, yeah, this tree looks like a bee. Looks like me. Looks like, you know? to see you know like you're just like you're trying to you're trying to match everything together you know okay. so when i was a kid i was trying to match everything together so yeah all right all right well uh mr mckee what is next for you coming up what's next is we're recording um lonesome wild is recording a, a tune called baby steps which is one of my favorite songs that we've ever recorded um and um, I'm really excited about it. Um, and we're recording that one, and we're recording a song called Seeing in Color, which is another one that I'm really, really excited about. And, uh, and then we're recording an album. So look out for Lonesome Wild out there. Um, we'll be out there, and, and uh, yeah, it's, and I'm Your Piano is gonna be on it. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate all of our, all of our, our folks and our fans for hanging out with us and listening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, before we let you go, looking forward to the album, by the way. Uh, but but before we let you go, where can our listeners connect with you and Lonesome Wild on the internet? Go to lonesomewild.com. That's lonesome, just like you spell it, wild with an e at the end, like Olivia lonesomewild.com and you can find all of our stuff there and it'll link you everywhere you need to go if you want to go to Instagram go to Instagram slash dot com slash Micah McKee plays music alright and listeners just in case you didn't get those links no worries I got you covered I will have all of those links in the description of this episode and in the show notes so all you have to do is click those links all right all right well Micah I definitely want to thank you so much for being our special guest tonight it was truly an honor hey man thank you so much man it's been a wonderful 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 talk man I appreciate you all right let's connect man let's connect Take care. Yeah, man. You, you Jackson, Mississippi, man. Come on. Let's oh, do yeah. This. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't far. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, man. We'll be right. in touch soon. Take care. Let's, let's do it. Bye. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website, 
which again is onlyonemediagroup.com and that goes for every single show that we've ever aired if you like to request music or send something for me to play email it to v radio at onlyonemediagroup.com that is v as in victor and here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it <laughs> just kidding on behalf of myself denny i appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with me on facebook twitter instagram tumblr snapchat tiktok at all social media sites as well as spreaker youtube we always follow back okay well just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself peace love grilled cheese and talk with you later You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds, of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.